everybody, let's go ahead and go over a few things today. I worked a couple releases as well as picked up a pair of shoes. I finally got the chance to add my size to my box label t-shirts. So I'll show you guys how I did that and then also how I would style them. Let's get started. talks with tj and tj2 swoosh chains hope you guys are having an amazing day when you're viewing this it's a saturday so i'm certainly going to try to get this out to you uh, on the same day with that being said let's just dive right in if you're brand new go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the like button certainly appreciate it too swoosh crew make sure you comment below what you thought about the releases that came out this weekend as well as maybe the pickup that i have so first off i worked a saturday release for the air jordan 14 hyper royal and then also the nike foam posit for actual kids so it was just for kids wasn't even for adults um and it was based on the thank you convenience bags that you get so if you go to a convenience store and they hand you your items it's usually in a thank you bag that's what this release is based off of so it's a crisp white with a contrasting bright red floral accents as well as just do it that will mimic the convenience thank you bags that you receive and they have a lot of um accents and actual designs on the insole of the sneaker as well as on the shank the lateral the medial side and uh, on the back you have the uh traditional one cent logo on there great sneaker a lot of people came in to pick that up uh, unfortunately we didn't have preschool or toddler but we certainly had the soft bottom and then the, the bigger kids the grade school a lot of people came to get those that wasn't like the coup de grace for the releases though it was really the air jordan 14 hyper royal we know a lot of people went after that that was a sneaker that the whole family was going after this morning um it's just a clean 14 right you have the hyper royal white and black that's a basic 14 um to kind of contrast the candy canes a lot of people went after it this morning I will say this as a reminder, um, if you can still shop in Kids Foot Locker, you're trying to secure a pair for yourself or for your kids, make sure you utilize the reservation option. You can do that now. It enters you in a raffle, just like it does for regular Foot Locker, Champs, or Foot Action. And that increases the chances of you being able to secure your pair on release day so you don't have to stress out. I, just, I don't want you guys to stress out. The better chances you have of getting a shoe, I know that makes you happier and that's what I would like for you. So make sure you do that. But I sold quite a few pairs this morning. That's all I'll say, quite a few pairs. So that was the run in the morning for me, really, just running around getting people their 14s or their phone posits. I had a really great day. I mean, really great day in terms of sales. So I'm happy for that, but it seems that these did really well. Now, I don't know how indicative that is to the market, really, because everything seems to do well and sell out these days. I'm kind of curious where this influx of money is coming at from people, but you know, hey, if you have discretionary money to blow, uh, spend it on yourself, spend it on your kids, enjoy life. We are learning more than ever that it is short. Uh, so for myself, in terms of my pickup, I did not go with any of those. Instead, I went with the Question Low in the Vivid Orange. Now, if you remember this shoe, it originally came out in 1999. It was in the light blue and the red, and it actually had suede instead of uh, the patent leather that's on here. And I mean, patent leather is putting it like really nicely. Um, I don't know if you watch wear testers chris went in and he didn't really think this was patent leather uh nor did he appreciate the execution of this shoe and i can see where he 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 feels that way now to me just for it to be a kid's shoe 
uh, kind of brought back from the 90s. I absolutely love it. It's really like that nostalgia from the fact that I grew up in the 90s. And I like how bright it is. I thought about getting the blue, the icy blue pair, but instead I went with this pair and I'm very happy with it. I love the design. I love actually how bulky it is. I know that's crazy to think because companies are trying to make shoes a little bit more sleek, but I actually love how bulky the shoe is. So in terms of styling it, I decided to style it with my shirt. So I have three shirts out. As you all know, you have the chance to, you can write in like your size on the actual shirt. Um, just a little bit of a word of advice. If you're going to practice writing, because that's what it's recommended you do, make sure you practice everything, right? So practice the numbers as well as letters if you choose to put both on there. I only practiced the numbers really, not the letters. So I chose to put like an M for six and a half men and a W for seven and a half women's. Uh, just make sure you practice all of it, even if it's not 100% perfect, okay? You'll be all right, I promise. Um, rock the shirt, enjoy it. Please make sure you tag myself and a fresh culture. I decided to style the orange shirt two different ways. So with the satin cheddar backboard and then green sweatpants, they're sportswear sweatpants. You're gonna have to head to eBay if you want them. And then also with the question low in the vivid orange and with uh, baggier, baggier pants, just because I think if you go with a tight fitting pant, it doesn't look as good because this is so bulky. So a looser fitting pant goes wetter with, goes ah, better with that profile. And then I gave you guys a quick on foot, or I'll give you a quick on foot as well um, for this sneaker here. And then finally with the black shirt, I went ahead and paired this with the sat, or not the satin, but just the shattered backboard, the Jordan 1 low, and then some camo pants, but I will probably be getting rid of those pants because I realize now that was like an impulsive buy where I really, really wanted those pants. They only had an extra small, which is not my size of minimal pants, as we've learned. And now they're just not very comfortable, but hey, they worked for the video. So as you saw, there's a theme here, okay? Pair orange with green. If you've never tried that, try it. They're great complementary colors, and I think they go really well together. And it'll maybe help spice up your wardrobe if it's not something you normally do. So that's all in all. Lots to do on a Saturday. Please make sure you leave a comment below what you thought about the releases this weekend for either the 14 or the phone posit, and then also for my question low vivid orange pickup. And as always, act your age, not your shoe size. Peace out.